I'm Nick, Nick Murphy, aka Chet Faker, and I'm here today to talk about Built on Glass, um, which I'm excited about. It's the first album I've ever put out. Well, it wasn't even a stage name then because when I, when I started making music, I didn't think I'd ever perform this stuff live. It was, uh, it was totally a studio-based thing. So yeah, there wasn't much thought, you know. I think like the first song I ever put out, or the cover, No, no Diggy, was the first song I ever finished, really. And like, usually people put a few more out before they start to do something. And within like 10 months, I was playing at South by Southwest. I mean, there was another Nick Murphy from Melbourne, where I'm from, who had like two albums out. So I didn't want to step on anyone's toes. So I was like, yeah, I need a pseudonym. And I was listening to a bunch of jazz at the time. And uh, Chet Baker was like, wasn't so much him as, as like his repertoire that blew me away. Was it, it was his style of singing. That was something that like, it represented a big lesson for me at that time. I was like 22 and it was the first time I'd thought about singing a song without having to put in like a high note or to prove anything to someone. That was the O, that's where it came from. I felt like everything Chet Baker did, he really was really subtle and understated and he never tried to sell his music, but for some reason that made it more powerful. And that was something I wanted to maintain in my music. I know we don't want, love we can sing. The music was at the start. I taught myself guitar, I had piano lessons for like three years from like when I was 15 to the end of school and uh, yeah so it's like half my skill set is self-taught and the other half were lessons but I really want lessons again, <laughs> I'm ready. I love soul music, I listened to it heaps as a kid. I feel like it's the last time pop music was cool, you know? Yeah, I don't like sit down and like, all right, I'm gonna do an electronic soul record, you know? It's just like, they're all like personal stories on the record, so it's funny in retrospect. Like, it makes a lot more sense when I look back at what I've done. At the time, I'm just like messing about. It's very trial and error. Well, it took me two years to do this record. That's the longest anything I've ever done. <laughs> you know, I, would, I went to like university, but I never lasted more than two months. So two years, yeah. There were points where I didn't know what I was doing. You know, I, I wrote, my approach to this record was quantity equals quality. So I just tried to write as much as possible. I didn't want to like, bang my head against the wall trying to fix something that wasn't going to be fixed. So it's a 12 track record, but I, I probably wrote something like 60, 70 songs. And there were two finished records that got scratched before I came to this one. So trial and error was, I mean that's still how I work, you know I was saying before I, I feel like I'm relearning every time I sit down to record. There's a lot of faith required in that because it's like, when you're in it you're like, is this, I mean that looks finished but it doesn't feel finished and you can't define what that is when it's done but I, I remembered that there was that feeling. Pain, it. It's a record, I wanted to write an album, not a collection of songs. If it was a collection of songs I would have, I would have put an album out two years ago, you know. I wanted it to have its own form, its own entity, its own flow. I wanted it to be cyclical so someone could finish the record and start it again and it would make sense. Um, you know, the last track, Dead Body, is a really similar theme to Release Your Problems. Uh, I wanted, wanted someone to be able to put the record on and expect a certain feeling and be able to experience that the whole way through the record. Every track is where it should be for a reason. There's no filler there, as far as I'm concerned. You know, I, I wrote a bucket list when I was like 18 and um, I haven't done any of the things on my bucket list, but one of them was release an album. That's a good feeling. Hey, this is Chet Faker. Look for me on Last FM.